So I test assorted materials every now and again. A piece of fiberglass we had laying around. So what I did is I used conventional spackle and I put it on the fiberglass and sanded it and then I sealed it with epoxy. Spackle <clears throat> absorbs moisture. So I dried it really good, put on the epoxy. My belief is that the epoxy would have absorbed right through the um, gypsum and attached to the board and is probably very strong. I might also hit it, it might just shatter and break off, but worth a try. This one I thickened um, and though it's um, reasonably rigid, it's not what I'm looking for. On this one I did the same. Here I just took regular conventional spackle again. I put it on plywood and sanded it, which normally would be no good. But again, I saturated it with epoxy. I expect the epoxy probably went through the plywood. So we're testing epoxy on plywood and epoxy on fiberglass uh, through uh, touch-ups with spackle just to see how good it would work. So we may as well give it a reasonable test. This is a big 18 ounce framing hammer. I don't know if we can crack the uh, thing. So here we go, make a little noise. Okay, that worked out very well. Got a scuff from the frame. That's not even a scuff that's, uh, I can wipe that off. So I'm pretty happy with that result. Um, let's give it a few more wax. Uh, Got to get these glasses on. Here we go. A few more wax. All right. So I can't imagine you could get a uh, a finish to be stronger than what I just did. Um, in all fairness. So now we're going to try the same thing but on some plywood. Again, held up very, very well. I busted the corner off here, um, which was primarily all spackle. Um, but I'll tell you, I'm pretty happy with that. This would be just spackle all by itself. can see substantial dents in it. Not quite the same here. So just for touching up some uh, epoxy and fiberglass work, smoothing it out, things like that. Um, this represents going over the actual epoxy uh, and touching it up. So this is a very stable way to clean up some appearances so I'm going to use this in a uh, real world application and we'll check that out later but pretty pleased with this result.